point in my saying I'm sorry because you've heard it so often. We certainly have. Well, if the shoe... Uh, Catherine, she's absolutely right. There's no excuse in the way I've been abandoning you the last day or so. But you know, that attempt on your life by Althea was so totally shocking, was so... Well, I was undone, and I drank. Listen, I felt like getting drunk myself. Well, will you ever forgive me? Oh, stop it, darling. You know I will. Besides, I know how horrible the whole thing with Althea was, but somehow I'm, I'm a little bit relieved that she's gone and that this dark cloud of danger is gone from our lives. Yes, good. and thank heavens for Paul. God bless him. Yeah, he was wonderful. You know, the audience is just as grateful to him as I am. Your tour is selling out rapidly. And the news about the attempt on your life, it's boosting sales clear across the country. Huh. I have the itinerary. I've set for the tour, and I would like you to look at it, please. Right. See, Mary, despite my temporary lapses, I can still manage Catherine's career. Fine, fine, it's all fine. Splendid. <laughs> you know, to be that far ahead at this point, to have this tour set up, is sensational. Now, I have some preliminary interviews for you, and a recording session tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry, that's out of the question. I can't make it tomorrow. You have to. No, I'm sorry. You should have told me sooner. Look, with all that's happened, no, I, I can't forgot. do it. I'm sorry, not tomorrow. See, Paul has asked me to go with him to New York. Oh, but no, Mary, you said he's... Uh, maybe you can go to New York no, some other time. No, I can't. But I you can't. told me that. No, Mary, he... don't argue with me, please. I, Paul is accepting an award from the Society of Archaeologists, and he would like me to be there. Good for him. <laughs> now, that's about the only reason that I'd accept. It's about time you gave him his due. You know, if you cared for Catherine as much as you care for your pocketbook, you wouldn't push her Mary, into Mary and Paul. Mary, 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 Catherine Mary. loves. Paul, don't you? No, I'd love to get into that right now, but huh. I can't because I'm late. So I will see you. And where are you going? I'm, I uh, can't say. Dear Catherine. I'll be uh, all right. I'm fine, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. What is going on? I don't know. I have an idea. Hope I'm right. Well, Colton and Catherine should be coming for you soon. This is a pretty elaborate plan you've got concocted for me. Thank you. You haven't seen anything yet. I'm glad you included me. Well, I'm happy that you and Colton have both said yes. But now I need another yes from the both of you. Sure, we might disagree. What is it? No. I need to have a rather important talk to my daughter here. You want some tea? Sure. Okay. I love it when we talk. Me too, sweetie. Except, uh, this time it might be a little bit difficult. Oh, we'll get through it. I've heard that before. It's in my jeans. Mm. <laughs> you know, you're so grown up in so many ways, but you're also still my little girl. And I know that my little girl's very excited about the upcoming plan. Oh, yes, I know it will work. Mm. She also thinks it's a big adventure, too, right? Well, it is. Yeah. But, you know, now I've kind of got to have a talk to uh, my grown-up little girl. And uh, there's not a lot of fun in that. What do you want to talk about? Well, the fact is that um, once Duke's finished his testimony, his life is going to be in quite a bit of danger. But not just his life. You mean me and Mom, too? Yeah. Yeah, you and Mom, too. And that's why I have a rather important question to ask you. You know that I love you very, very much. You know that? And I want you to know that no matter what decision that you make, well, I'm always going to love you. Daddy, what's wrong? <laughs> Part of what's wrong is the reason I'm making such a mess of this. That's all right. Just ask me what you want to ask me. If... If I had to send you away, you and... your mother and Duke, I mean... I mean, would you... Would you forgive me for that? Would you keep on loving me? 
as much as I love you. Why would you send me away? Keep you out of danger so that you wouldn't feel afraid all the time. Have guards outside the door every minute of your life so that you and your mother and Duke could live a lead a normal life. What about you? I miss you. I miss you with all my heart. But I'll see you again, won't I? Well... Daddy, you're not saying that I'll never see you again, are you? Yeah. Never's a long time. That's not in my dictionary. But anyway, look, let's not get worried about it now, okay? Uh, don't have to rush into anything. I mean, trial could last for weeks. We'll have to decide sometime, won't I? Yeah. Yeah, you will. I can stay with you, can I? Yeah, you can do that. Or... Stay with mommy and Uncle Duke. It's about it. No, it's a terrible burden to put on you. But you're grown up and you have a right in this particular matter. Daddy, how can I decide? I love you both so much. Look, maybe I did the wrong thing in bringing this up just at the moment. Um, tell you what I want you to do. I want you to put it at the back of your mind, okay? And remember that whatever decision you make, I'll go along with it, because it'll be the right one. I'll get that. Okay, gentlemen, I've been expecting this delivery. Uh, just... The uh, not just yet. Come and have a look. What is it? Well, um, Catherine wanted her to have it in lieu of the one she didn't inherit. It's my own very... very piano? Yeah, it's definitely a piano. Mom, look, it's awesome! Sign here, please. 